Hey folks, uh, this lesson is solving percent problems. Don't forget, all of your math lessons can be so, uh, found at MrMathBlog.com. So there's our common core strand for our teachers. And our question here is, how do we use percents to, uh, to solve problems? So here's an example. In Mr. Elaine's AP Statistics class at Del Campo High School, a study was taken of the 400 freshmen. They found that 30% were left-handed. So how many left-handed freshmen does this represent? Okay, so we're gonna use this diagram to solve this problem. So a big rectangle here represents 100 right here. Remember, we want 400. So percent means per 100. So here's 30 out of 100. So that means 30% out of 100. So 30% means 30 out of 100. So there were 30 left-handed uh, freshmen out of every 100 people right there, okay? All right, let's complete this diagram right here. Remember, we want 400. So we're, here's 100. So this will be another 100, and this will be 30% right here. There's 300. There's 400 right there, okay? All right, so describe how this diagram model um, uh, models the total number of left-handed freshmen right here. Okay, well, uh, one large rectangle right here represents 100 students, so four of the rectangles represents 400 students, and the small rectangles represents 30 out of each 100 uh, students that are left-handed right there. All right, so this this part right here says explain how we can use the diagram to find the total number of freshmen that are left-handed. Okay, well, here's 30, here's 30, here's 30, here's 30. So if we add all those up, that'll tell us how many freshmen are left-handed. So 120 out of the 400 are left-handed. So use a, a bar model to show this problem right here. So here's another bar model right here, and this bar represents 100% of the 400 students of the freshman class. So this bar is divided into 10 equal parts. So 400 divided by 10 gives us 40 right here. So 10% equals 40 right here. So then 20% is going to be another 40. 30% is going to be another 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40. So if we just keep adding 40 across, that'll complete that bar model right there. Okay, so how did uh, we determine the labels along the bottom of the bar model in that last uh, bar? Okay, so there it is right there. So the bar shows that 400 divided into 10 equal parts. So each part represented 40 right there. So how can we use the bar model to find the total number of left-handed students? Well, it said 30% uh, percent of these 400 kids were left-handed. So that means 30%, which is 120. So here's another way to do that right there. 30% equals 120 right there. So we had 120 left-handers. So percent is equivalent to the ratio of a part to a whole. Remember, percent means per 100. So to find a percent of a number, we can write a ratio to represent the percent and then find a, a, an equivalent ratio that compares that part to the whole right there. Okay, so so here we had 30% of 400. Okay, so, so 30% is 30 one hundredths right here. And then that told us that that was something out of 400. So 100 times 4 gave us 400. So whatever 30 times 4, that gave us that 120 right there. And then if we wanted to do uh, multiplication, then uh, of means multiplication. So 30% of 400 is the same as 30 one hundredths of 400. And 30 one hundredths uh, uh, times 400 is the same as 30 uh, one hundredths times 400 over 1, which is 1200 over 100. 100 times this uh, imaginary one right there, uh, we still get to 120. So there's a couple of ways right there. So let's use proportional reasoning. Proportion means a fraction equals a fraction. So one of them is going to be a percent over 100, so 28%, so 28 over 100, to find something over 25. So use proportional reasoning to find 28% uh, of 25, okay? So let's write a proportion comparing the percent 28 over 100 to the ratio of a part to a whole, okay? So here's our part to a whole. Here's our 28% to the whole 100% right there, okay? All right, so notice that 25 is a factor of 4. 25 times 4. So what times 4 equals 28, okay? So find the multiplication factor right there, okay? So what number times 4 equals 28 right there? So hopefully you guys can figure out that 7 times 4, 7 times 4 equals 28, like 25 times 4 equals 100. So let's answer the question right there. Uh, since uh, 4 times 7 equals 28, then 28% 
of that 25 equals 7. Okay, let's uh, use multiplication here by a, fra a fraction to uh, find 35% of of 60. Okay, so 35% of 60. Here's 35%, 35 per 100 of 60. Okay, of means multiply right there. So let's multiply. 35 over 100 times 60 is the same as 35 over 100 times 60 over 1. This is imaginary over 1. And then I showed uh, right here 35. Here's 35 is the same as 30 plus 5. 60 times 30, well, 6 times 3 is 18, and then add these two zeros right here. And then 5 times 6 is 30, add that zero. So 1,800 plus 300 is 2,100 right there. So we get 2,100 over 100, which is 21. So 35% of, of 60 is 21, okay? Let's uh, multiply by a decimal this time to find 5% of 180, okay? So they want us to convert 5% to a decimal. Well, 5% is 5 one hundredths. 5 one hundredths, the 5 has to end in the hundredths spot, so it equals 0 0.05. Remember, to change a percent to a decimal, just move that decimal two places to the left right there, and we get 0 0.05. So now we just multiply 180 times 0 0.05, and we get 9. So 5% of 180 is just plain old 9. Okay, in the last uh, part, uh, the percent of, uh, in, in part B, the percent is 35%. What is the part, and what is the whole? Okay, well, in B, we found that 35% of 60 was 21, so 21 was the part, and then 60 was the whole. Explain how to use a proportional reasoning to find 35% of 600. Remember, proportion means a fraction equals a fraction. So write the percent as a ratio and write the equivalent ratio comparing the unknown to 600 right there. So here's percent per 100, 35% is over 100. Uh, to figure um, how's that going to give us a number over 600 right there. And since 100 times 6 equals 600, we multiply 35 times 6, and I did that right here, and we get 210 right there, okay? All right, so here, let's find percents of each number. So I'm going to show us each method right here. I think I did this one as a proportion. Yeah, so 38 over 100 equals some number over 50. Okay, so here, here we go. Uh, 50 times 2 equals 100, so what number times 2 equals 18? And so we figure out uh, that 19 times 2 equals 18. Okay, on this one here, I forgot which method I did. Oh, okay. I did uh, 27 over 100 of 300, so I changed uh, 27 over 100 and the of to multiplication, 300 over 1, and then 27 times uh, 3 is 81, so add the two zeros, 8100 over 100 equals 81. This one I changed uh, to a decimal, so 60 over 100 is 0.6. Okay, and then 0.6 times 75 is um, uh, 45 right there. All right, so we can use proportional reasoning to solve problems in which we need to find a percent. Okay, so here we go. So uh, Jenny earned uh, $2,000 last summer working at the store. Of this money, she spent $120 on her brother, probably for a birthday present or a Christmas present. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, for Halloween present? I don't know. But anyways, what percent of the money did she, uh, that she earned was spent on her brother? So we want to find uh, 120 is, 100, is what percent of, a, of 2,000 right there? So since we know the, um, uh, the part of the money she spent Jen on Jenny's brother, let's compare the part to the whole. So the part was 120 and the whole amount was 2,000 right there. Okay, so Let's write that as a proportion to comparing the percent to, uh, to the ratio as the part to the whole. Okay, remember, uh, 120 over the 2,000. Now, this is our percent right here is going to equal some number over 100% right there. All right, now, recognize 100 times 20 will get us that 2,000 right there. So 100 times 20 equals that 2,000. So find what number times uh, 20 equals, find what number times this 20 equals 120. Well, it's going to be times uh, times 6 right there, okay? So 6 uh, times uh, 20 equals 120. So the percent is 6% right there, okay? So Jenny spent 6% of her money on her brother. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, uh, let's do one more problem. I think this is the last one. So, no, this is one more. So uh, write 57% as a ratio. What part of the ratio represents the part 
of which part represents the whole. Okay, so 57% uh, is the same as 57 over 100. So 100% is the value of the whole. So 100% represents the whole, and 57% is the part right there, which is equal to 57 out of the 100 right there. All right, so last one, you guys. So out of uh, 25 students in Mr. Brown's class, 19 had breakfast before school. So what percent of the students in Mr. Brown's class had breakfast? Okay, so... 19 out of the 25 had breakfast. We're looking for percent, so that's percent over 100 right here. So 25 times 4 equals 100 right there. So 19 times 4 should give us uh, 76. So that tells us the percent. So 19 is 76% of uh, 25 right there. All right, you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense, and make sure you eat breakfast before school. Take care.